A few months ago, I encountered David Shorman's crushing Tiktaalik video in which he seeks to refute Tiktaalik status as a transitional form. I had some issues with this and expressed them in the comments section, but when I pointed out the irrelevance of his crushing experiment, he stopped responding to or even approving my comments. So I figured I'd make this short video just to point out the irrelevance of his admittedly cool experiment in a way that he almost certainly won't respond to, but at least can't censor. So we get to the crux of David's argument early in this video, i.e. that Shubin and Deschler identified Tiktaalik as transitional based on its having a compressed head with dorsally oriented eyes. So let's examine that claim by taking a peek at the original description. I posted the source uh, paper in the description. So go ahead and pause the video and read the diagnosis. Completely absent from that diagnosis is any reference to the flatness of the skull or the orientation of the eyes. Thus David's experiment, while accompanied by a cool soundtrack, completely fails to dispute Tiktaalik's transitional status because it focuses on a particular part of Tiktaalik's anatomy that never appears in the diagnosis. He goes on to point out that the Polish tracks predate Tiktaalik. I never got the opportunity to explain to him that being a transitional form is not the same thing as being directly ancestral, but a little bit of research should reveal this fact to him. He also says that the opercular series might merely be missing from Tiktaalik, uh, thus making it more fish-like than the reconstruction uh, appears. I would say this is unlikely given the fact that none of the specimens found had a preserved operculum and, the, and that the bones to which they would ostensibly articulate had no articular surfaces to accommodate it. So with these facts in mind, it seems safe to say that David's video is not relevant to the question of Tiktaalik's status as a transitional form. And thanks for listening.